oil may look well as one overlooks the deep sea slum situated in Nairobi's Westlands area. But on the contrary, the atmosphere is getting choked daily by doses of carbon emission. Kerosene lamps are the main source of lighting in the more than 500 households in this area. Usually about 200 milliliters of kerosene, which cost about 20 to 30 shillings a day. The kerosene, after it has been converted to light, produces poisonous gases that are released into the atmosphere. Gases that increase the carbon content in the atmosphere, an aspect that will accelerate the impact of climate change in the country. However, this does not have to be the case. These kerosene lamps can be replaced with solar bulbs. A solar company in Nairobi has come up with a solar project that is affordable to low-income earners. Only 20 shillings a day, the residents of Deep Sea can replace this lantern, which releases unfriendly gases to the atmosphere, with this solar power pack, which is environmentally friendly. Which is what most people will be spending on uh, probably buying kerosene for their lantern and batteries, maybe for the radio, and uh, some power, uh, maybe taking the phone to the shop for charging. Peter Muluko, a woodcarver living in the slum, is one person already experiencing this pilot project. Simon Zhao, a kiosk owner in the slum, has taken up this opportunity not only to conserve the environment, but he sees it as a business opportunity as well. He has bought several power parks which he charges during the day and in the night he rents out to his neighbors. Tuseme imeongesha mshahara wangu. Nikiongozana na hii jua kali ngine nilikuwa nafanya nduka alafu niongeze hii ya kukondisha this power park. Mimi naka kwa kiwango kingine kukaribiana na mtu wa stima. The solar bulb lights better than the kerosene lamp is friendlier to the environment and it is also safer as it reduces the risk of fires commonly experienced in slum areas. Nobody should really be using kerosene in their houses because solar is there and it is affordable. The Kenya Climate Change Response Strategy aims to promote schemes and subsidies that would allow more households to purchase solar PV usage. It is within uh, the efforts of the Minister of Environment and I believe all other ministries particularly the Minister of Energy, to try and make these uh, panels uh, affordable. Olivia Ketch, Eco Scan, Citizen Live at 9.